The commercial prawn trawling industry is a massive part of our seafood market, worth about $400 million a year. But for decades there's been concern about the trawler's bycatch. In other words, all the other fish and marine life that get caught up in the nets. So fishery scientists like Matt Broadhurst are working with trawler fishermen in New South Wales to find ways to reduce their bycatch without reducing the number of prawns. Traditional trawler nets let in all sorts of species, including juvenile fish, vital to our recreational fishing industry. This is the typical bycatch 10, 15 years ago. It comprised a range of different species, um, brim, southern herring, other species that will be considered not so important for recreational fishers. Now the Ferdic team have found a simple, low-cost solution to filter out the unwanted species. By inserting this bycatch reduction device, which basically mechanically separates the catch, organisms or animals such as brim are unable to pass through the bars and so they're directed out of the net and they escape. And that results in a, in a reduction of around about 90%. Any small fish left are sorted in water then released, so their chances of survival are high. Scientists have also designed special square mesh panels, so any undersized prawns can easily escape the nets. In the end, it's all about ensuring the future health of our fisheries. This vital research is just one of the projects funded by the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation. For more details, go to their website.